Take Richard. Yes. I'm glad you came down. We've got to try and get that. There we go. Right. Get that. Um, yeah, I forgot my camera, but we have an iPhone, so we can uh, right. do a little documentary as we wait for yeah. our uh, organic, non cruel animal food here at Sacred Chow in the village. You know, actually, I read an article on Facebook that makes a lot of sense that being vegetarian causes more animals to die because when they harvest the wheat and harvest the corn and stuff like that. There's millions of rats and insects running around inside the, the field that get killed by that. So you so maybe if you eat meat, you'll kill a thousand cows, but you eat more vegetables, you kill a million rats. And rats are just as smart as cows. So you say, what's the point? Besides Whoa. the fact that all the vegetables have feelings too, you're killing all those poor vegetables. <laughs> Well, it's got to be somewhere in between. Like, we don't, you know what I mean? Not everybody's going to be a vegetarian in the world. Right. right? That's well, funny, I though. Not because you don't want to kill those poor little mice. So, I don't not. so, are you saying that, like, a stalk of broccoli or something that's grown in the ground, yeah, when you rip limbs, it up, yeah. they can feel all that? Like yeah. they Supposedly, they've done electrical studies where they see a reaction coming out of them. If they, if they put a sensor on plants kind of similar to what you put on electroencephalogram for people that you get a little bit of electrical reaction when you rip a plant, leaf off a plant, stuff like that. So they're definitely, they, just because they don't have a mouth and eyes and, and, and ears doesn't mean that they don't have sensory uh, and nervous. Maybe they have a soul, we don't know. Maybe they have a soul, maybe they go to heaven when you kill them. God damn it, you're making me feel guilty maybe they about... Go to hell. You're maybe making they go me to feel... Hell if, you, <laughs> if they've been a bad little animal. <laughs> How would, how would an animal be bad to deserve going to hell? What would well, say that again? What would an animal have to do to be bad and deserve going to hell, do you think? If, uh, it, trips, so if it grew across the field and tripped someone and killed them, maybe? That's a very philosophical yeah. point, right, right. By the way, is it blinking? Is the little thing blinking at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but you're recording it. Yeah, I, I, we're, at, we're at 220 here. You, yeah. you good on memory and everything and battery and everything? We'll do five minutes. That's all I want. Just do a little. You can post this on Facebook. Yes. Cool. Well, YouTube is where to post. YouTube. Okay. Cool. Um, Although I won't post the. Well, I'll give you my web, my YouTube info. Yeah. Okay. And then you can do it, or you can just send me the file. I, I can post it on YouTube right directly from here, but only at a certain length. They won't. They won't post this one one directly. We can transfer it to the PC and then... Right, right. No, like when you get home, transfer it and then email me the, the quick the file. Yeah, and then I'll... That, sure. Or I'll just give you the info. Right. For my password on my YouTube. Sure. Anyway, getting back to uh, what what carnivorous animals deserve to die well, and which especially don't. especially plants. Especially which plants deserve to well, die. Well, no, let's... We're, we're putting the horse between before the oh, carrot. Sorry. Let's stick with the... the um, We'll get back to the plants in a minute. Okay. Um, so your question was, yeah. what did that? Is there some cows, pigs, chickens, etc., that deserve to be killed? And, no, and that's, that's, good, that's not actually what I asked. But that's oh, what did you ask? I was talking about plants. What plants deserve to go to heaven, and what plants deserve to go to hell? Is what I was asking about when the plants die. That's a more tricky question. Yeah. Well, what's your answer for that? I have no fucking I don't idea. Know, I can't think of it. Except maybe if a plant grew across a road and caused some of the trip and fall, maybe that plant deserves going to hell, don't you think? I don't know. So the shadow, maybe if the, sh the tree branch grew too long and the shadow got in the driver's eyes and yeah, then killed the family exactly, four, exactly. like on, on a vacation to Kansas or that something? Plant, go, that tree should go to hell, absolutely, yeah. So, and anyway. Then, and then what, and what about the one I just asked? Let's address that. You know, like, what, what, what would a cow have to do to actually deserve to be at Peter Luger's? Yeah. You know what I mean? What's your answer? Just off the top of your head. Well, it's, it's killing all the blades of grass. The cow has killed thousands, maybe millions of blades of grass. Each blade will go... All those grass. souls yeah. of blades of souls. Yeah, exactly. That's what the cow deserves to die for. Interesting, okay. <laughs> And it's, just, it's the way the, the cow is eating all this grass anyway, so all the souls have died. Why should we let that nutrient just go away? Why should we eat it ourselves, eat the cow, and take advantage of all the little souls that are Well, because anyway? the cow is like a living thing and everything, you know what I mean? Here we go, pumpkin bisque soup.
pumpkin, huh? pumpkin chicken or pumpkin beef this soup in the sauce? No, this place is uh, all vegetarian, all vegan, all... Let's see what we got here. Mm. Now, are you just saying that because you're being nice or... It's good, right? Yeah. Now, is there any guilt process going on here about the pumpkin? If this pumpkin deserved... You seen carved pictures of pumpkins smiling and stuff? Right. And, you, and we killed the pumpkin. We killed that pumpkin. And then we put an evil smile on their face. Yeah. Just so I could be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> how, so, how did the pumpkins get their revenge? Revenge of the pumpkins. They should make a movie like that, yeah. You don't mind if I film you while you're eating, right? No. Alright, we're at six minutes. We're going to do a couple more and then wrap it up okay. here. But, um, I let's, feel, let's... I do feel guilty about this thing. Pumpkin guilt? Yeah. That's what we'll name this, pumpkin guilt, by the way. <laughs> that's good. Pumpkin guilt at Sacred Chow. Tell, why are you feeling guilty, Richard? Because of pump, multiple pumpkins probably died for this. And think of all the seeds. When they kill a, when they kill a pumpkin, and you've seen that hundreds or thousands of seeds pour out of that pumpkin. Oh, so you kill... It's they not just the pumpkin. You killed, killed hundreds of generations of thousands of yeah. little pump, embryo pumpkins. Yeah. It's that they're not embryos. The seed, seed, the seed is, is before. Pumpkin, has a soul. A right. Yeah. So a thousand souls for your six dollar pumpkin soup. Yeah. Right. Was there any guilt when you had one of those Mc coffees at Mc McCrapland Donalds? No, that was good. That just didn't taste very good. Really. Of course it didn't. You know what I mean? They're gonna cut corners in that fucking place. Um, but let's talk about the coffee bean. Does the coffee bean have the? Is there any? Is there anything involved there? Karmatic was. Yes. That's a new word I made. Karmatic. Well, yeah, they have souls too, and they're roasted. They're put in a fire and burned. <laughs> It's like, so it's like a it's, it's like, like a Hitler thing, right? Is yeah, there like, Hitler guilt going yeah. on there? So the coffee beans, even if they don't go to hell, <laughs> they're treated like hell because they're in this fire. Can you imagine how they must feel? Each little bean must feel. Just to end up in a in a in a in a, in a cup that's manufactured in China, and the coffee tastes like shit. Mm -hmm. At least if you're going to suffer from coffee guilt, it should be a nice cup of coffee from Starbucks, yeah. right? Yeah. Something nice, right? I went to McDonald's just to, just to the right near where we, I was meeting you at. Yeah. Right, right. That's yeah. We'll, we'll clarify that. That's the only reason is because I was running. Well, you actually got here a little early. Yes. So you, that was the place's safest, closest place to get shelter. Right. Um. Anyway, we got two minutes left, yeah. and uh, so we're going to talk about Al Diamond a little bit, and then wrap this up. Okay. Uh, so, how, how, what you, how long have you known Al Diamond? What, what year did you, uh, how old were you guys? I was, when you, like, I was like 20 or something. And, and you're, and you're, he died two years ago. Yes. So you knew him for 40 plus years. Oh, absolutely. Is he, was he hands down your best friend? He was, yeah. The screen just went dark. Does that mean anything? Try touching it. I don't know. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. Back, like, yeah. um, I guess I guess going to the funeral had to be a pretty, yeah. you know. I mean, I, I don't, I, I'm not trying to touch on a nerve. I just want to kind of document that. Because Al Diamond, to me, was more important to me than my father was. Right. And I only knew him for a few years. Well, the had, word, yeah, the weird thing about the funeral, it was all arranged by his relatives who didn't really know him very well. Right. So the relatives fed him a bunch of fed the rabbi a bunch of facts about him. So the rabbi gives a sermon that's just all wrong, all factually wrong. Did that make you angry at all? No, it's just kind of weird. Yeah. Anyway, it was great seeing you again. Where we got thirty yeah. seconds left. I don't know. You usually it's weird. You a time limit? Or you're not actually getting a time limit. Are you? Well, on YouTube it's ten, but oh, for yeah. some reason There's some a, videos are twenty minutes those are long. 15. So. YouTube is fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, my hands about and, to fall off. We'll go for okay, another few. Yeah. Okay. We'll get another few to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would have. I would have liked to. I would have liked to been there. Yeah. Um, I there definitely. Some, yeah, there were some mystery ex map workers there. Really. Yeah, we thought they would show up at the dinner later. We didn't really ask them to have any questions at the funeral. 
Because there's gonna be. No it was party. an after. Was there dinner? At, it was an after. I don't well, call it a party. Dinner. There was some meal in the restaurant after. Did dinner. you meet some ex map workers at the at the no, meal? No, no, we met some ex map workers. We had no idea who they were at the funeral, and figured they'd be at the meal, so we'd ask them questions then. But they and didn't, they didn't go to the, the meal, meal, so we still have no idea who they were. Yeah. Or how they heard about and there was no video cameras playing, right? Right. But the real mystery is how would how it's a mystery X map or even have known that this happened if you know what's going on. Yeah. Wow, look at this tower. Three yeah. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so look, we got a little. Um, so vegetable diet. We got this is called uh, this is a protein taco pie, which uh, the lady uh, mm -hmm. defined it as a kind of like a Mexican lasagna. And then we got a little hummus, tahini, with the little. Uh, what are these bread things called? Crostini. Crostini. I should know that. I worked in an Italian restaurant. That was many weed joints joints ago. Mm -hmm. Then we got the. Um, kidney beans and mole sauce with uh, a little brown rice on top and it looks like a little parsley and um, I think we'll wrap this up and each, eat each grain of rice has a soul think about it every one of those expand every, upon that every one of those grains of rice had a soul just like we were saying you're gonna eat thousands of souls right there in that one stupid dish and each bean had a soul actually is that true if a, if a thousand beans grow off of one plant does each bean actually have a soul, or is it, or is it just the one plant? plant? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, that's fucking deep, man. And on that note, I'm so hungry, I'm going to have absolutely no guilt at all devouring this food. So, it's great to see you again, Richard. And we'll get a little fake ham bomb because we're eating. Um, and hopefully we can do this again in, in, in L.A., yeah. Uh, I'm not going to the Bay Area again as I am terrified of earthquakes and uh, I hate LA but I do need to go to you know see where Al Al is or where he well I mean he's his soul is you know is, is in the air is in the universe but uh, was he cremated or was he he was okay good good, good. okay anyway um, we're gonna chow down it's safe for chow chow